Good evening. This is Father John again at St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church. And our class we're going to do today concerns basically what happens before you get to church, so to speak. It's basically all the preparation of the holy gifts and basically what all the priest goes through to get there. Um, Today is February the 9th. I thought liturgically it's February the 10th, so it's actually St. Harlem Bosch's name day. And you have to know that because that's part of when you, uh, uh, that's part of your, uh, part of what, that's something a priest needs to learn, know the day, the, the, the day is who the saint of the day is because he has to mention it several times. He mentions it in the dismissal, part of the service he mentions is the, the saint of the day. And uh, do you need one of these, John, or you've got one? And you'll notice after the presentations, the actual service we'll actually be getting into when we do the service. All right, so what I'm going to do is kind of run through what I'm going to be talking about, and then we'll actually do the service. All right, so we're going to basically do four things. We're going to do the service of Queros. We're going to do the vesting, where the priest puts his, his vestments on. Then we're going to do the service of Proscomidi, where he prepares the gifts. And then I will talk a little bit more. Last week I talked about having pre-sanctified liturgy. I will talk a little bit more about how those, how those things are treated and sanctified as an uh, as, as a extra bonus for today. If, um, if you played sports, okay, well, do you, do you immediately run on the field on sports or do you do little stretches or anything like that to get ready? You kind of do some warm-ups or whatever. Or if you're if you sing opera, you 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 uh, you do some preparation to get ready. Well, for priests, they don't just go to immediately to uh, trying to be divine and holy. They have a preparation service, and it's this is called the the service of Cairo. And so, for the service of Cairo, the priest vest in his uh, and, his, his uh, andiri, which I'm it's basically it's kind of like an undergarment, and his exoraso, which I'll put on shortly and a kalimafi, which is the cowboy hat for the priest. There's two words for, for time in Greek. There's uh, keros, which means God's special time, and there's chronos. Basically, uh, as we go through our lives, we kind of live the chronos, but in our lives, when God has special times, in a lot of the, the biblical verses, they begin with to, to kino, in the fullness of time. Basically, in God's time, this happened. As I said, this, this Kero service allows the, the clergy to focus on upcoming service. And it's performed by the, the clergy and assisted by the deacon. Um, if a bishop's presiding, then basically the bishop comes out and takes Kero and he'll have a deacon assisting him. If it's just priests and deacons are doing it, then just the priest will come out and, and do the service. All right, so we will uh, we will stop there. Uh, uh, so we don't get to get get confused. So I'm going now going to do the service of Keros, and then uh, uh, and then once we I complete that, I'll stop and open the presentation back up, and then we'll look at the vesting service. So in the service of Keros, the piece puts on his uh, exoraso. He puts on his kalimafi. He does this inside the altar, and then he comes out. He comes out of this door. And he walks over to the bishop's stand, even if the bishop's not there. And he bends down as if he gives the, the bishop's blessing. Basically, this symbolizes that he can't have liturgy without the bishop's blessing. So he comes down here as if he's blessing. And then he comes and he does three uh, uh, what we call matanyas. Oh God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. Oh God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. Oh God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. And then he starts to be, you can, I believe you're on, is that page 23 sound right? All right, you're on page 23 is where you do this service. 
Glory to you, God, glory to you. Heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, President of every fair, fill of all things, treasure of good things, giver of life, coming by us, cleanse every saint, save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever in the age of ages. All holy trinity have mercy on us. Master, pardon our sins. Holy and visit our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever in the age of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. We give those trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom of power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever in the age of ages. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, having, having, laying aside every excuse, we send us off this prayer and have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever in the age of ages. Lord, have mercy on us, place our trust in you. Do not be exceedingly angry and remember our transgressions. Look down in compassion and save us from enemies, for you are God and we are your people. We call upon your name. All right, and the, uh, the royal doors are closed when, during, uh, during this. And so then the priest reads, Blessed Theotokos, open the doors of fast of the new, for you're the, that you may not perish but be delivered from adversity, for you are the, the Christian people. Okay, should be a change, page change, I think. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Kilesen, kilesen, kilesen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Kilesen, kilesen, kilesen. We venerate your mac and image, good one, asking forgiveness our transgressions. Christ our God and your goodwill. You sent it on the cross and deliver those whom you created from the enemy's yoke. Therefore, with thanksgiving, we cry out to you, having come to save the world, for you filled all things with joy. Their peace will do his cross, and they will venerate the icon. And then he goes to the next icon, which is the Theotokos. No worse, we make you worthy compassion, Theotokos. Look on the sinful people who have rejoiced to show your power. For we have placed our hope in you, crying out, Rejoice, since one that gave will leave the bodiless powers. Then he walks over to the icon of John the Baptist. The memory is righteous, is praiseworthy, but yours is the enough, O forerunner, for you've been revealed greater than the prophets. You also found worthy to baptize him, you've, you've announced. Therefore, we fought most valiantly for truth, joyfully claiming those in Hades. God appeared in the flesh and taking away the, taking away the sins of the world and granting us great mercy. And then next, the priest walks over to the feast of the of the of the parish. So since we've, we're Saint Nicholas, you won't have Saint Nicholas's a contacion in there. But I, uh, I've got it here. Truth to things that reveal thy flock, a canon of faith, I come meeting, a teacher of temperance. Wherefore you grind greatness, humility, riches, who poverty, Father, our Nicholas, intercede to Christ our God, our souls be saved. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, extend your hand to the dwelling place on high and strengthen the point of service so I may stand uncondemned before your awesome throne. And celebrate your blood to sacrifice. Here's the power and the glory of the age of ages. Glory to you, God, glory to you. May Christ our true God, the intercession to all pure blameless, mother of glory, all praiseworthy apostles, our fathers among the saints, Saint Nicholas, wonder worker, Bishop Mirror, protected his holy temple. Holy righteous ancestors, God, Joachim and Anna, Saint Horalambos, the the higher martyr and, and, and wonder worker whose memory commemorate the mercy and save us for is a good God who loves mankind. Through the prayers of the Holy Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us, save us. And the priest goes three times. O oh Lord, have mercy on me. God, have mercy on me, a sinner. O oh God, have mercy on me, a sinner. O oh God, have mercy on me, a sinner. He says, he points to the empty congregation and says, forgive me, a sinner. As is symbolically as, as, as people would be there. And then he enters back into to the uh, altar. How shall I then worthy then rage to your saints? If I dare in my bridal chamber, remember garment that says in the wedding feast, I should bound out and cast out by the angel and cleanse the pollution and save me.
And then he comes to the altar and does three more martanias. Oh, God, cleanse me, sinner, and mercy me. Oh, God, cleanse me, sinner, and mercy me. Oh, God, cleanse me, sinner, and mercy me. And he kisses the gospel. And that concludes the Kero service. To, to make a point that I'm being trying to be as slow and deliberate as possible because I, I have a basically about a 30-minute window to get this done during. When you have more than one priest, you, can, you, have the, you have the luxury of doing it during matins before liturgy because one priest can actually do the, be doing matins while the other priest does the, 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 gets, makes the preparation of the gifts. When it's just yourself, it's much easier to get it all done before uh, before matins. All right, the next thing we'll do is we'll go back to the presentation and we'll talk about pressing of the, uh, uh, vesting of the priest. So I believe we're on the fourth, fourth slide here. Um, the bishop, priest, and deacon each have common, unique vestments. Every time the priest, deacon, or bishop put on a piece of their vestments, they say a prayer before putting it on. And when you, when I, when you hear me vest, uh, you will actually hear me say those prayers. The deacon has the simplest uh, outfit, so to speak. All three, the, the deacon and the priest and the bishop, all have cuffs. These are called cuffs. And they all have cuffs. And that's, that's one thing they all three have in common. They also have a, what's called a stichardion, which is basically what goes on the outside. You'll see me put it on in a minute. It's, it's this vestment right here. They all have that, but the, the uh, deacons is much more... Since it goes on the outside, it's much more glamorous, elaborate, whereas this more, looks more like something that goes under, so to speak. So those are the three things a deacon has. You'll see the, the priest vestments. Um, the things that the, the priest and the bishop have in common, they have the, the, the undergarment, the stichardion. They'll have a belt. They'll have cuffs. This is called epigonation, which you know goes by epigonation. Uh, you've heard genuflex has to do with the knee. That means by the knee, so to speak. And then have, we have what's called here an epitrachion. And you'll rarely see a priest do anything without epitrachion if it has anything to do with the sacred. Now, bishop has some more elaborate some more elaborate uh, uh, things. He has a, what's called a sacos, which basically staccato, and it's got bells that run up and down the arms. So he really can't dress. Probably could, but generally has a deacon or somebody to dress him, and they go go up each bell and they f they fast the bell, and he's got what's called an radion, which is which looks something like this, except it goes around his, his, his neck like this. It's, it's, it's big and pretty heavy. And uh, we, we kind of symbolically say him being under the bishop's orarion, which, mean, I mean, um, which means his, uh, his um, I'm, I'm not orarion, it's omophoron, his omophoron. You being under bishop's omophoron, you're, you're, you're under that bishop. Um, and then the bishop, bishop will have a funky crown. He'll have a more elaborate hat than that than I have, which call, it looks like a crown. He'll have a, a big, nice cross, and then he'll have a, he'll also have a, 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 something that goes around his neck that's uh, 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 
Epigopion, which is, is oval, it's oval. It'll have a saint on it, or, or the Virgin Mary, or Jesus, or something like that. So he'll have two things hanging around his neck. Okay, so that concludes that part of the uh, the, the the PowerPoint. Now I'm actually go through and show you what happens when the deacon vests. All right. So let's shift. We shift cameras. I mean, you you, can you, you see me up front? You see me? Okay. All right. Do you see a page you should be on? Which starts off, my soul rejoices in the Lord. Is that eight or what? Twenty-eight. Okay. All right, I've, these are a little different than the way I learned them, but the, the content's still the same. So, these vestments are designed where you fold them up when you, to make them portable, because sometimes you go to a church that you're not, not normally at, so you have to learn how to fold them, and so make them where you can flatten them out and stow them away pretty easy. And you do it inside out. Okay, so when, so right before the, uh, vesting, he's, he said, uh, let us pray to the Lord, Lord of mercy. He venerates the cross on the, 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 the vestment, kisses it, and then oh, magnifies the Lord for his, clothes me in a garment of salvation, cut me the robe of righteous, adorn me a garment of salvation, adorn me a jewel as a bride. And he wraps the string around and tucks it in. Okay, so this is the Scotian. Scotian. The next thing he puts on is the Epigonation. Not all priests wear this. Basically, it's, you have what's called an ofika, which basically means, if you've like seen police uniforms where they have stripes and things like that, or military uniforms, so you, it's, it's kind of a symbol of rank, and so this is a symbol of, a, of, a, of the rank of economos. When you get, get the office of economos, you get to wear these. And so the prayer for it is, Gird your sword upon your thigh, and beauty and splendor string your bow. Ring your prosper and truth through your righteousness. Right, your righteousness. <coughs> Sorry, I had. A your right hand shall guide you. You wondrously. Sometimes when you have to slow down and say it. Your brain doesn't feed you feed the information like you're used to, to having it done. But the next thing that goes on is what's called epitrahelion, which means uh, which goes over the neck. My soul rejoices in the Lord for clothe me in the garment of salvation, cover me in the robe of righteousness. Bless our God, he pours out his grace on his priest like the oil of mirror, on the beard, on the beard of Aaron, on the hem of his garment. This next thing is the zoe, the belt. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord bless, bless our God, he girds me with strength and makes my way upright. You can notice a lot of these will have uh, the psalm that these, the, 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 that these come from. And then the right-handed cuff. Let's pray to the Lord. 
Your right hand, O Lord, has become glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, has dashed in, in, in the pieces. In greatness of your glory, you destroyed destroy those who are against you. Glory to you. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord of mercy. Your hands made me in fashion. Give understanding, Lord, and I will learn your commandments. Right. Now, normally, this is where I stop. And basically wait to put on my Flonion and my cross till matins because it allows me to work do the work a lot easier. And uh, uh, I don't need the I don't need the Flonion on until I read the gospel. However, for, for didactic sakes, I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff on for, for when we do it. Let's pray to the Lord, Lord of mercy. For he shall clothe themselves with the righteous, your faithful shall rejoice always now and forever the age of ages. You get what good at tying your stuff behind your back. And not everyone gets to wear a cross, a pectoral cross. You have to have the blessing of your bishop to uh, do that also. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, in mercy. Whoever wishes to come after me, let him take up his cross and follow me. All right, as a practical standpoint, I now go wash my hands next, which I will, uh, I will go do. But from a practical standpoint is I'm going to need to use the sensor. And to use the sensor, handle charcoals. When you handle charcoals, your hands get charcoal on them. So, I, when I, uh, right before I go wash my hands, I look charcoal. I go wash the charcoal off my hands. So you can hear me praying though at the sink. I will wash my hands in instance. I shall listen to the voice of your praise. I declare of your wonders. Lord, I've loved the beauty of your house. Your place, your sword, your eye. This heart my soul is hindered. Hands are full of bribes. As for me, Lord, I've walked in answer. Redeem me, Lord, and save me. My foot is set on the right path. And send me as I will bless you. So now I'm a priest, fully vested and ready for liturgy. And so now we're going to be ready for preparing the gifts.
Actually, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to switch around in, in just a second. Basically, go through the show and tell, and then we'll uh, go from there. Uh, let me go through the PowerPoint, and I'm going to point out what the stuff is, and I'm going to turn around and face that camera. All right. The obvious things are the chalice. This is called a patent or discos. This is the asterisk, which goes on top of the chalice. The spear the spoon, and these, you have the veil covers, and this is called the ear, which covers the veil, and we'll go through all that in a minute. And this is the prosphoro. The prospero is prepared with a special seal. Can you uh, can you switch to this camera and, and, and uh, to get a zoom a zoom in on it? All right, you'll notice you're sealed and you have the Iota Sigma, He Sigma, Jesus Christ, Nika, uh, uh, Conqueror. You'll have a triangle on this side, which is for the Theotokos. Then you'll have nine triangles over here, and we'll go through what each one of those are. And then you'll have extra seals, which we'll talk about in a minute, which we'll use. So let me show you guys this. You have the Yota Sigma, Jesus, He Sigma, Christ. Nika, you've got the triangle here that's going to be for the Theotokos, and you've got these nine triangles right here, which will be the saints of the church we'll celebrate, and you've got extra pieces you can cut out. And then as soon as I get turned around, we'll bring, bring you guys up. You can watch from the, get a close-up view. You also will be making some, some piles We'll have the tri nine triangles for the heroes of the faith. We'll make a pile for the militant church, the church that's going through the fight here and now. And then you'll have one for the triumphant. I'll take a piece for the high art and also the sins of the celebrant. So we'll stop there. And why don't y'all come up to my to the, to the side here, and we can get a much better view. Piles of crumbs. I'm gonna make actually make piles of crumbs for the church militant and the church trump. But the church militant is the church that's fighting right now. It's, it's, it's in the midst of a spiritual battle right now. The church triumphant is those that have passed on. And they're in God's presence, so they're not having to fight. We switch to the new camera. All right. All right, so now... We should be redeeming to page 32. Um, 
you can see, and I'll, we'll, I'll move the camera in just a second. You see the, um, the protheses in there? But in the back there, where the light is? That's where all this happens. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see. Can you, can you kind of zoom in on it? You got a good shot of it? Okay. I'll put the camera back. All right, so now I'm going to go through the, the we, we begin the search for forgiveness. Oh God, cleanse me of sin and mercy me. Oh God, cleanse me of sin and mercy me. Oh God, cleanse me of sin and mercy me. Takes a spear, puts it on his forehead. You have redeemed us through the curse of the law by your precious blood, nailed to the cross and pierced with the spear. You poured from immortality upon mankind. Our Savior, glory to you. Times he goes, in remembrance of the Lord God and the Savior Jesus Christ. In remembrance of the Lord God and the Savior Jesus Christ. In remembrance of the Lord God and the Savior Jesus Christ. Bless our God, always now and forever, the age of ages. I got those backwards. You do bless it, and then you do in remembrance of the Lord God and the Savior Jesus Christ. Then he gets to cutting. The first cut he makes is on this side, which is the right side of Christ. Our left side, but the right side of Christ. You think of Christ on the throne facing us, so this is the right on the, the low standpoint. And from Isaiah 53, 7, as a lamb he is brought to slaughter. And the next up, as a bull sand before his shirt is silent, he opens not his mouth. In his humility, his judgment was taken away. Who should declare his generation? So I made my forecast now. And then I take the spear and go inside. For his life is raised up from the earth. And I pull out the Amno. This is it's called the Amno. This is what is going to the center. This is what's going to become your communion. Now I've got to go clean it up a little bit. So I flatten the body off a little bit neater and then I'm going to put it where it's going to be able to be quartered break into four pieces so I make my first cut here sacrifice the lamb the son of God who takes away the sins world for the life and salvation of the world is ever sacrificed but never expended you kind of get where you can break it apart but you don't want it already falling apart by your crucifixion, O Christ, tear new his bowels, change your man, but the Lord himself to save his glory to you. All right, so this is going to be easily fractured into four different pieces. And this is the um, I talked about sanctified liturgy. Well, if we're going to have liturgy later on in the week, if we're going to have a liturgy later on in the week, then I'm going to cut out another one. And I'm going to do the same to it. Be used for the pre-sanctified liturgy. And so it goes on here also. And when we have the consecration, we have the Holy Spirit come down on both of them. Or if there's if we have two liturgies in the week, we'll have an extra one there. All right. The next thing, what is the next line is what? It said, by your crucifixion, your tyranny was abolished. He's an angel of man, but the Lord himself to save his glory to you. And what's, one of the, what's the next line? One of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear. And so I'll end up piercing both of them. So I pick uh, where the knee is, right there. I pierce it. One of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear. Me, they came out blood and water. He bore witness, and his witness is true. And I actually, depending on the Sunday, I'm just going to put a little bit in because we're here. But normally I'd be putting nearly all of 
going to be a, a light weekday. I won't put quite as much in. And then I pour a little water into because we said out of the side came wet blood and water. He bore and it was witness and his witness is true. And so we've prepared the blood of the, the, the wine, the blood of Christ. All right. And so next thing we do is we commemorate the Theotokos. And I cut out a triangle here and say, in honor and remember the blessed Theotokos of Virgin Mary, whose intercessions O Lord accept the sacrifice on your super heavenly altar. So I have a nice little triangle. On the right hand stood the queen arrayed in gold and gold and adorned in various colors. So we've got Jesus here on his right. We have the, the Theotokos. Same thing here. Now take the nine triangles. And you can either individually take these triangles out and stick them on there. Or I like to keep it all together and I'll just cut it where it's divided into nine. Uh, four cuts on here to divide it into nine. And then you take the spear. And you start going through the, the, the people we're commemorating. The first thing we do is, in remember to Archangel Michael, Gabriel had the bodiless powers. So I took the spear and pierced the first triangle, the second triangle. One of the gorgeous, uh, uh, holy gorgeous prophets, the forerunner John the Baptist, holy gorgeous prophets, Moses, Aaron, Elias, Elisha, David, the son of Jesse, the three holy youths, Daniel, the prophets, holy prophets. And I pierced that, the second triangle. Praiseworthy apostles, Peter and Paul, the twelve, the seventy, the holy, those holy apostles, and those equal the apostles. And I pierced the third triangle. I was among the saints, great harks, and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory Theologian, John Christian, Matthias, John the Merchant, Patriarch of Alexander, Nixon Mirda, Spirit on Bishop Demetrius, Dionysius, Archbishop of Egan, from Zacharias, Nectarius, of Pentapopoulos, Holy Hierarchs. And so I pierced the fourth triangle. Our glorious Protomarch and Archdeacon Stephen, the Holy Ghost Major George, the Victorious, the Meet the Mere Throwing Theater, the Crete Theater General, and the High Martyrs, Nostros, Potom Carp, Haralambos, whose memory commemorate today, Eleftherios, Cosmos Satellos, the Holy Martyr Women, Thecla Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kitty Fontaine, Marina Parascave, and the Holy Martyrs and Confessors. And number six, all women of God bearing fathers who live in the says Anthony Dionysius, Savas the Blessed, Theodokius, the Abbot, and Dionysius of Olympus, the Holy Mothers, Leah, Theodosia, Anastasia, Ephrosia, if everyone's everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Our glorious one of work here, most closest, Damien, here's Pondalim, Mochios, Atticestios, Thalios, Tirphon, the whole Martian physicians. And then number eight, Holy Righteous Ancestor God, Yoki, Anna, Joseph of Soul, Simon the God, and St. Nicholas, protect this holy temple, Haralmos, the fire martyr. And Wonder Worker, whose memory commemorated today, and the Saint Mary Savior's was eternal life. And you commemorate which the hierarch that you do whose liturgy, so it would be probably most likely doing St. John Chrysostom, but you could be doing good basic, if our fathers among the St. John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, but you could be doing St. Basil. All right, and then the, the priest has to take a little bit of what's left here, and he has to make him a little working, working piece of bread. He works from just to do the rest of his commemoration. All right, so he starts making a power for the living. Our fathers among the saints. Uh, remember, O oh Lord, who loves orthodox hierarchs, or righteous to teach the word of your truth. Archbishop Isaiah, thou president, diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and lady. And then I'll take the corner out right here and commemorate the bishop who ordained me, who would be Nicholas of Detroit. And then I, and I said, remember, O Lord, and I have a long list of names. So we could sit here and read all these names, but there's a lot of names here to read. And so this is, this is a list of all the living that I'm commemorating. And so I'm going to make a... Basically, you you read the names and you just you scrum off, scratch off here, so you're making a pile of crumbs. And so that's what I'll be doing for the living. 
And then I also have a, a list of names of those that, have, that, that are dead, they've passed on, that, that fell asleep in the Lord. And so you begin with, uh, you, you, you go up and down for the, the living, you go by, across, across, forth. Remember, O oh Lord, those who uh, the, are the blessed founders of this holy church. Remember, O oh Lord, then I'd read all the names of the, of the, the, the church, triumphant, the, 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 the dead, those fell asleep in the Lord. And then finally, and to make it and continue, and remember those who have fallen asleep, the hope of the resurrection of the Orthodox fathers who love mankind. And then I conclude this by saying, Remember, O Lord, mine words, forgive all my offenses, voluntary and voluntary. On the other side of the, uh, look, I grab a piece and put it right here for the sins of the priest. So you have Christ in the middle. You have the Theotokos. You have the nine, tri nine triangles for the heroes of the church. You have a power for the living. You have a power for the dead. You have one piece for the bishop who ordained the priest, and you'll have one for the sins of the priest. And then I send the, uh, the bread back to get cut up, or I cut it up myself. And this is what this is what is handed in. And these, technically it means instead of, since you didn't take communion, you're getting this instead of that. All right. So I've, I've prepared the gifts now. What I need to do is cover them up. So I tidy it up, get my crumbs in nice and neat. And it's time to cover up, the, uh, cover up the gifts. And then the priest always says, "For you, since for incense, Christ our God's offering a spiritual fragrance. Accept it on your heavenly altar, and return." All right, and now we're down to, in the coming of the star, so the young child will marry his mother. So the priest will smoke, it's called the asterisk, and he'll cover the gifts. The second cloth, some priests use, some don't. And then it gets the next cover. The Lord reigned in clothed in majesty. You gird yourself to strengthen the Sabbath universe, not be shaken. And covers the rest of the pattern. And he gets the next cover. Your virtues kept, O Christ, his praises fill the earth. Covers the chalice. Protect us the shadow of your wing. Drive us every enemy. So grant peace to our life. Lord, and save our souls who loves, who loves mankind. And he grabs the censer and senses times. Bless our God, thus I please glory to you. Bless our God, thus I please glory to you. And then he has a prayer here. O oh God, our God, you sent forth the Lord Jesus Christ, the heavenly bread, the food of the world, is a benefactor, redeemer. Bless and sanctify this offering on your heavenly altar as a good God who loves mankind. Keep them in remembrance that brought these gifts whom they were offered and kept gun condemned divine services for your holy blessing, sanctified and glorious honor, majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, the age of ages. Then concluding prayer. Glory to you, God, glory to you. May he was born in a cave in the land of manger for our salvation. Christ our true God, in the intercession of all pure blameless mother, our fathers among the saints, John Chrysostomer, Bishop of Constantinople, and all the saints of mercy save us, for he's a good God who loves mankind. Makes three mentanias, O God, cleanse the sinner and immerse in me. O God, 
heart. Cleanse me, sinner, and mercy on me. Oh, cleanse me, sinner, and Jesus. Holy God, holy, mighty, unrighteous Son, holy, mortal, all Holy Spirit, glory to you. It's the cross on the right side, the left side of the air. And says, through the prayers of the Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and save us. And that is how the gifts are prepared. Now at the great entrance, you basically undo all of this. And so you, uh, the priest puts the air on his, uh, on his back, around his neck. He processes the gifts around. May the Lord our God remember all of you in his kingdom, now and forever the age of ages. He sets them on the altar, takes off the covers, senses the cover, puts it here. first set of petitions he folds up folds up these covers in this cloth let's complete our evening prayer to the Lord Lord of mercy Lord of mercy Lord of mercy and then at the uh, at the creed, the doors, the doors of wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, and he, he does this, and about halfway through, he folds it up. Nice to have a little more working room. And by the creed, it's folded, it's folded up. And, and during the creed, he... Uh, uh, for the creed, basically, they shake the air for a little while before they fold it up to symbolize basically keeping the flies away. That's what they're to keep the flies away. Back when they had flies in the church. And then he'll, uh, right before you get blessed, he'll do this. The grace Holy Spirit, uh, the grace Holy Spirit and, and blesses you. Let's lift up our hearts. And then all this gets put away and it's ready It's ready to go. At the um, consecration, the great priest grabs these like this and says, your own of your own, we offer you in all and for all. At that point, the Holy Spirit's called down to uh, consecrate them. Before that happens, you'll hear him do this. Hit three times. Um... That's when this comes off. And then we get to ready for communion. We say the communion prayer. Um, and right at the communion prayer, then the pre-sanctified gift is prepared. The way it's prepared is either they leave their... They'll either dip it in and get the blood on it, or they'll uh, get the spoon and put the blood on it like this. Then there's a special box back there that we put it in, and it stays in there until it's time to come back out, and then we'll pull it out for the pre-sanctified liturgy. Um, and then, and then the says, your own of your own, we offer you in all and for all. And the priest fractures the bread, the, the this into four pieces. Ter takes it apart, puts the first piece in. He's got all, uh, the, you'll see, uh, the altar boy bring a thing of hot water. The hot water goes in there. And then the priest says his prayer of communion. And he takes, he takes a small piece of bread, and takes it for communion. And then uh, he takes the blood, the body, the blood. And then the rest of this goes in, the, uh, in there, and, and that's what comes. And then when you come up for communion, that's what comes out.
And I think I pretty much covered the uh, pre-sanctified. You basically prepare the number of nodes for the services you're going to have. Like I said, it's consecrated on Sunday. We've got a special container back there to put that put this one in. And it's just it's the body and blood of Christ. It's both. All right, any questions? All right, well, our next class will be the 24th, which is two weeks from now. And Augustine will be teaching it on. It goes in with the. Uh, so it's, uh, um, I don't have a good liturgical answer for you. Um, it basically, wh- one thing it does, it allows the communion to go further instead of just wine. It kind of waters it down. I think the heat of it gets a little of the alcohol out. I think those are the two effects it has on it. And supposedly you're not supposed to put too hot of water in there because it makes all the alcohol go out. Oh, after the, and after all of this, the priest consume, he goes in the back and consumes everything that's in here. All right, any other questions? All right.